right, what's up guys? I'm back with the 325 and I told y'all I was gonna do some work on this and I finally got the Steelys back on in the rear and they look pretty decent. I put the camber, I have the camber arms on finally. I gave it some more camber in the rear and it looks pretty decent. It's like not rubbing as much as it used to, but as always, like the work never ends with this thing. You can see like the fresh rub line. Yep, that like the rubber is like hot. <laughs> Yeah, it like rubs, but last time I had these on, it was rubbing like on top of the tire, like on the tread. Now it's like on the sidewall, which is like a little bit more bearable, but still like not good. I don't yet have the fronts on because in these times right now and all this like social distancing and quarantine, can't find any tire shops that are gonna stretch my tires on. So probably gonna have to wait like another month or so for the fronts to get on. So it looks kind of drift car right now, but I just wanted to give you guys a little walk around and look at what the rear looks like. And also in this video, I'm gonna show you how to adjust your camber arms in on the car i'm going to show you guys how to adjust your camber arms on the car because on all of youtube i couldn't find one video of someone adjusting their rear camber arms on the car everyone was installing them like fresh and like act like yeah, taking out the oem ones and putting in the new ones I couldn't find one video of someone just simply adjusting the arms for more camber while everything's on the car so i'm going to show you guys how to do that so you can adjust your camber easily so yeah. Okay, well this was just a quick little walk around of this thing. I'm actually gonna get back in the car and head back home. See if you guys can hear from the audio. Whenever I take a turn or hit a bump, I'm definitely rubbing. I'm gonna try to get rid of all this rubbing nonsense so it stops doing it, but I'm just gonna show you guys, like every time you go over like a bump or a turn or something, like it's making noise and rubbing and all that nonsense, so. I'm gonna, I hope you guys will be able to hear this. It's a little windy today, but just try to keep your ears peeled for like the rubbing and like scrubbing noises when I'm turning and going over bumps. Back at the house, I pulled the car up on some blocks. I'm gonna do my best, I'm gonna get under here and show you guys. I'm not actually going to change any camber. I'm not gonna take any wrenches or tools to it because I did it the other day to actually get the camera to where I wanted it and it was such a pain and I had no time to grab the camera and record anything. But I'm gonna go under the car and I'm gonna give you guys like the directions on where to twist things and what you're gonna see and what you're gonna feel. I just wanna like go into the car and show you guys exactly what you need to be looking for so you can adjust your camber on your E46, all right? So I'm gonna hop into the car right quick. So as you can see my camber arm right there, this black bar right here, it just connects over there near the diff and then it comes all the way over and it connects over here down to the bottom of everything, like your hub and all that. Okay, so basically adjustable camera arms are like pretty self-explanatory. You twist it one way, it's gonna kick the bottom out and give you more negative camber. You twist it the other way, it's gonna pull the wheel in and give it more, give it a positive camber. That silver nut, if you break that loose counterclockwise, you twist this entire black bar clockwise for negative camber. So you break that thing loose left, you spin this right, and what's gonna happen is you're gonna see your entire hub, it's gonna start to slowly go like this, and just kick out and give you more negative camber. So all you do, you break that silver nut loose right there and you spin it all the way over to the end of this little black piece right here. So you break that nut loose all the way and then you just go ahead and you spin that tube and as you're spinning it you're gonna see more and more thread being exposed right there and your whole entire hub is gonna start like tilting towards the sky because because of all the negative camber same thing for the other side it's way over there uh, right there <laughs> but yeah so i just wanted to get under here and show you guys how it works because Every YouTube video I see, everyone just assumes that, like, you know, that everyone knows how to adjust them, and the shit can be difficult. As you can see from all those rust spots right there, I was taking, like, a monkey wrench to it, because there's, like, it's, like, cut out right there for you to be able to put, for you to be able to put a wrench over it and spin it. Um, but, yeah, a little bit difficult. I mean, it's a little bit rusted, um, kind of hard to do, like, under such a tight, confined space, but, I mean, you know, it's not the most difficult thing in the world. But, as soon as you give it more negative camber, you're good to go.
Well, one more important thing. I forgot to mention this when I was filming when I was under the car. Um, so this may or may not be important to you guys, but I just wanted to mention that my camber arms, the brand, they're like just the cheap like eBay ones, I guess you could say. They're the um, Max Speeding Rod Rear Camber Arms. I found them on Amazon Prime and they were literally like $38 like shipped to the door. They're nothing fancy. It, like, in my opinion, I don't think that you really need anything that fancy when it's coming to camber arms. It's literally just an adjustable piece of metal to push out, um, kick out your tire and your wheel. I mean, you could get the CA tuned one that are like, you know, powder coated red and like stainless steel, blah, 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 whatever. And those ones are like, I think like 80, 90 bucks, but these ones are literally just the ones like that you can find on like Amazon, uh, max speeding rod, E46 rear adjustable camber arm. So I just thought I'd mention that real quick. Real quick too, I wanted to show you guys my old set of Steelers that blew up on my way to H2O, just as like a safety reference and just an overall like reference point to all you like stands heads out there. Cause this shit does come at a cost, you know, there's no no car supposed to be running like over like negative anything camber. So just to like give you guys a heads up, on my way to Ocean City, Maryland, this is what the inside of my tire looked like, and I was going on, like, a fucking six-hour road trip, and I didn't, this was, like, dumb on my part, because when I got these Steelys on, like, la like this time last year, I didn't get an alignment or anything, so you can see how, like, screwed up my toe was, like, th this literally looks like an F1 tire, like, completely, this is on the inside, too, so the side that had all the tilt, so just be careful, because I blew up on these, and then this is the other one, too, and I'll just show you guys, like, the, the, you can't tell because of the lighting in here, but what my thumbs on that groove that was from my fenders. <laughs> so, so if you're looking at it, like if you scroll back in the video and look at my other the tires that are on now, these are the same tires. But look at how the indentation in this thing. I literally put the biggest gouge in these things. So you know, just be careful. All right, you guys. I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I just wanted to give you a little progress report on this thing. Hopefully, I'm getting the Steelers up on the front installed soon but you know with everything that's going on in the world right now who knows what's going on everything's very up in the air right now but i'm gonna try my best to research and try to get this rubbing to stop because that rubbing is really annoying and i've been dealing with it for about like well pretty much a year because i've had the steelies on for like a year in the past like last spring summer so and it was just like super annoying like how much they rub so i really want to try to fix it because it does look really good on them but uh you know we're gonna see what happens but cool there it is